Hey, what's happening, guys? Hey, I want to thank you all for uh, joining us for the live stream yesterday. That was a lot of fun, even though we had to improvise because things did not work out as we planned. But uh, great news. Right after the live stream, the radio showed up. So here it is. That's the 10 Tech Delta II high frequency transceiver. Very nice radio. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about what to do when your power supply doesn't have enough voltage or current. So let's get set up for that. All right, sometimes you need more voltage or more current than your power supplies can handle. For instance, some of you may know about my unfortunate oscilloscope accident with the Tesla coil. Well, it was driving this driver board here, which uh, really likes to have some current, but this power supply here is good for uh, 5 amps. This one's good for about 3 amps. So how did I drive this? Well, I paralleled them. And the same thing works for voltage. So let's say, for instance, you need 60 volts. No, let's, let's say you need 70 volts, okay? 70 volts. So these are both 30-volt power supplies. How can you make it happen? Well, it's easy. I know this is a strange shot, but I'm trying to get everything in so you can see it. Okay, we're going to measure here with the Fluke voltmeter. And I have both of my power supplies set at about 20 volts. So we're going to take the positive from one power supply. And that goes to the positive of our load. And then we connect the negative of that power supply to the positive of the second power supply and the negative of the second power supply to the negative of our load and presto changeo 39.67 volts you know we said we needed 40 so we can just tune it up here a little bit Very nice. Now, see, I'm trying to keep these both uh, re as relatively balanced as possible. We don't want, run, want one running at full tilt and the other one running at no tilt. So just balance them out. Very easy to do. And you can do the same thing if you need more current. In this situation, let's say we need 5 volts at as much current as we can provide. So we're going to run things in parallel. I'm just going to set it up like this. Clip my leads together here. Max out my current. So there's five and a half amps on that one. Oh, plugged that in the wrong hole, didn't I? There's 2.1 amps on that one. I'm going to take out these crock clips. And we just hook them up. Like so. And like so. Now I'm not crossing any wires this time. This time it's in parallel. That's why it's nice to have these type of plug-in connectors here. We just plug in like this and like this. And now these go to our load and we'll get the total 7.5 amps, which is more than either power supply can supply. Now this trick works with uh, desktop power supplies. And it also works with, you know, these little guys here you call Wallworks power supplies. 
it'll work uh, pretty much any type of power supply. Just remember the, uh, the advice of Ghostbusters. Never cross the streams. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, guys, for joining me for the live stream yesterday. And thanks for joining me every day. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.